So it's July here in Northern Virginia, which is the time that we want to remove our honey supers and check for mites. It's very important that we check for mites and we know how to properly check for mites. So the reason we want to do it at this time is because we're moving into a dearth, nothing is blooming. So the bees are going to simply eat anything that's in your honey super. And empty honey supers on top of your hives will just make way for pests like small hive beetles and wax moths. So this particular super, I already know, is full of brood. So I have a queen excluder in between. So this brood will hatch out and be done. And I'll probably leave this super on that's quite full. And this is a quite full beehive. This super is going to just uh, be additional food for the bees over winter. None of, the soup, none of the frames in here are capped enough for me to extract. This is the capped honey. This would be ready to extract, but this is just nectar. So the moisture content is not low enough to extract it. Therefore, it could spoil the honey. This here is capped honey and it would be ready to extract. And it's quite tasty. And we'll leave that for the bees over winter. So I'm fortunate today, the weather is perfect that I can inspect these bees. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon, so most of the foragers are out. I have my veil ready, but right now the bees are kind of calm, so I don't need to wear it too much. It's called an alcohol wash. And this is, uh, we're gonna do this using the Varroa Easy Check by Vito Pharma. We sell these at the bee store. But this is a fairly new product, and I'm gonna give it a whirl. For the alcohol wash, you're gonna immerse your bees in alcohol and kill them. So you're gonna kill about 300 bees. But it's gonna give you the most accurate test of your mite counts. So the way you use this product is simply fill up to the bottom of the cup with rubbing alcohol. You can also use windshield wiper fluid. And that's ready to go. So what I need to do now though is make sure that I don't wash my queen in the alcohol wash. So I'm gonna find a frame of brood that I can scrape down and get about a half a cup. So I wanna get brood because I wanna get younger bees or nurse bees before the mites have a chance to drop off of them. So here's a fine frame of brood. So when I look, I'm making sure that my queen is not on here because I certainly don't wanna kill her this late in the season. Now, inside of this container, are two little fill lines, there's two, and I want to fill it to the top with bees, and that's going to give me about a half a cup, or about 300 bees. And I'm going to do that by just dragging them down like so. They just fall right in, but I want to drag them down so I'm not scraping up the, uh, the frame. Give these a shake so they quit flying. And then I'll fill it up to the fill line with alcohol. Okay, so I've got a half a cup in here. There's a fill line here on this container. I'm gonna shake it for about a minute. This is gonna dislodge all of the varroa mites that are on the bees. Those mites will be called phoretic mites. When I count the mites, hopefully I won't have any, or if I do, I'll just have a very few. I'll be able to determine if I need to treat them and how urgently I need to treat them. So depending on where you look, some experts will say if you have one mite per hundred, then you need to treat. That's just one percent. But generally, the rule of thumb is three mites per 100 or 3% is where you need to treat. Okay, so with this container, the mites will fall right out and I can count them. So the wonderful news, I can count two mites. So there's two Varroa mites in here for 300. That's less than 1%. All right, so there's only two Varroa mite in here out of that 300 bees, so that's less than 1%. Uh, so that means that this hive right now does not require any treatments. And it, I don't really need to 
do a prophylactic type treatment at this time. But I certainly want to come back as the bee population declines throughout the summer to come back in a couple weeks because the mite population is going to continue to increase. Also, there's other beekeepers in my area that may or may not be treating for their mites and then they can give their mites to my bees. So I'll come back in about two or three weeks and check again and do another mite count. So continuing on, we're going to do another mite count on another hive. This was a, a bit of a newer hive that we've been nursing along and recleaning throughout the year. Um, this one we're going to do the sugar roll. The sugar roll uh, is about 90 to 95% effective in counting your mites. Once again, whenever we do a mite count, we want to make sure that we're not putting our queen in. We need about a half a cup of bees, mostly from the brood area. I check my bees, I keep them over top of the box so that they don't uh, fall off into the grass. Okay, this looks like a good frame. So all I need to do is so you have a half a cup, measuring cup, I'm just going to run it down like so. got about a half a cup of bees. Doesn't seem like that much, but it's about 300. All right, so you need about two or three tablespoons of powdered sugar. Any kind of powdered sugar will do. Two or three tablespoons is about, I don't know, a couple of hive tools worth. We'll just put it on there. Then we'll roll these bees around and get them really, really covered in sugar. That's why it's the sugar roll. Roll them around. And now these bees are like ghost bees. They're all covered in sugar. And uh, I want to kind of not do this in direct sunlight because that sugar will melt. And so I'm going to leave them sitting there for at least one full minute. And it's important that you wait a full minute so that sugar can do whatever it's doing to the, to the mites and the other mites can groom it and the mites let go. So it's very important that you do that. All right, so that's been about a full minute. And now what I'm gonna do is shake these powder into this bowl. It's a white bowl so you can be able to see the mites. Okay, and now I'm gonna add a little water here and see what's going on. There's a lot more mites in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's twelve mites in here. Twelve mites out of three hundred is four percent. So that's certainly above the threshold to treat four mites in this hive. So this mite, this uh, beehive, has certainly got more mites than I want. we need to treat them. Uh, right now, this time of year, is too hot for a lot of the uh, treatments that we have, but what we can use, we're gonna use Amitraz, or the, the brand name is Apivar, but the chemical is called Amitraz, to uh, treat these mites. And uh, before we handle the strips, we'll put gloves on, because Amitraz can penetrate your skin and make you sick. The uh, Apivar strips are plastic, you use two strips per 10 frame brood box, so I guess it'd be an eight frame as well. The easiest way to do it, you have your strips. And a toothpick. And what we'll want to do is set the toothpick through the hole and slide it right down in between the brood area. So the Amitraz strips, or Apivar strips, will stay in the hive for about six weeks. That allows several brood cycles to go through. Um, 
so all the, the mites that are behind the kept brood will come out and then they'll be, uh, they'll get the benefit of these strips as well. Now these guys here, we'll put them all back. We never want to put a treatment on with a honey super on, at least a honey super that humans will eat. If you plan on leaving your supers on strictly for the bees, then a treatment will be okay for them. And we're all set. So this treatment will stay on for about six weeks. Definitely need to come back after this treatment is complete, do another mite count to make sure it was uh, effective. I didn't want to keep my mites uh, below 2% all year long. If I get to late summer and I have over a 5% mite count, then uh, that's a high chance that that hive is going to die. So I want to make sure that uh, the mites are in control. Mites are the number one cause of colony death. It's very important that we take good steps to treat them. At the bee store, we have a variety of mite treatments, both organic, essential oil, and chemical treatments as well as uh, test kits uh, to do your mite counts. So feel free to stop by and any of the employees can tell you all about these products.